What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of our submarine build. In this one we are going to make a long range fuel cell that you can add onto the sub optionally. Um, so this one's going to be a little bit quicker just so you, just so you guys uh, know there's we're not going to do as much but um, I'll explain a little bit later what really the purpose of this uh, fuel cell is and uh, a few other things that we're going to add. So, um, But in the meantime sit back relax enjoy the video um, if you do like the build don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and if you haven't seen this is on the workshop now so go ahead and download it if you want to play with it check it out um, let me know what you think but um, yeah we're gonna get right into the build here and I will cut back in when we are a little bit more completed with what we're gonna work on today <laughs>
Okay, so you guys can see we uh, we cut this thing in half. We're going to make it just a little bit longer. I uh, figured if we're going to have it here, we might as well make it carry as much fuel as possible. So um, if you haven't picked up, yeah, it is a it's a fuel spare fuel tank. And the cool thing about this is it can be attached to the submarine before you even spawn it. So you just got to place it where I placed it and then attach the hose and turn that key on. So we're up in the Arctic this time. I... Uh, you know, a little change of scenery, and um, this this video is a little bit more ahead of the other videos, so um, the interior is going to be a little bit more finished. You guys get a sneak peek at that, but we're just going to drive around in the Arctic, and I actually really like enjoying the or driving the subs down here because it's really cool, especially with um, there's a monitor in the in the cockpit where it basically just points up and so you can see when you're underneath this uh, iceberg and it leaves this really really cool kind of view while you're driving um, but anyways I'm kind of blabbing and you can see right there we we have an equipment room that we have not quite built on screen yet but that'll be uh, one of the next episodes and we're just gonna continue driving and the main point of this the the fuel cell this whole episode is really um, the submarine itself has quite a bit of fuel but that's really going to be the main thing that limits the range. You can charge all the batteries off of the fuel. So if you want to take it really, really far, it's um, generally, you know, carrying extra fuel is going to make it a lot easier. So um, this is going to be in an equipment pack that you can also download for the sub. It's going to have this, um, this fuel tank as well as it's going to have a trailer for the submarine. That you can tow it around with so um, you can drive the the submarine right up onto it into a dry dock and it connects to a hard point right on the bottom and that way you can pull it out of the water and transport it but i'm just pumping ballast into this thing i i wanted to show off the going under icebergs and whatnot and there you can see it, it's really cool very uh it's a very cool interesting ambiance it's um you know, definitely a little bit neater, especially given it's it's for exploration, it's for viewing pleasure. Um, it's it's really cool that you can kind of hop in the submarine and look up, and it also kind of gives you a basic range for how deep you are, which is kind of cool. But we're gonna hop out of the sub, go swimming for a little bit, and just kind of check that out as well. But that's that's gonna be just about it for this episode. For the most part i just kind of wanted to, to make a quick little video for this fuel tank and where it came from but i also wanted to kind of just show you off or show off driving around in the arctic like i said I, I really like doing that in the submarine specifically so what we're doing here is i'm just hooking it up and disconnecting it to make sure it works correctly Ugh, getting stuck in storm works of course always take the gear off i'll head into the front start blowing the ballast. We're gonna drive it around just a little bit. I put a GPS marker in here that's very ambitious. I do remember making the trip. I kind of just AFK'd it, but I did not record it all. I didn't wanna just have gigs and gigs of me going in a straight line at 15 meters under the water. But that is just about gonna do it for this one. I kind of wanted to, like I said, just make a quick little video so you guys got to see the fuel cell. But yeah, if you like the build, don't forget to uh, hit that like and subscribe button and come back for more. Like I said earlier, this is on the workshop now, so if you do want to play with it, check out the finished ship. Definitely go hit that subscribe button there. Let me know what you think, share your photos, whatnot. But that is it for today, so I want to say thank you all very much, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.